Today we will visit a food stand in Gangnam Shinsegai Department Store, Seoul, South Korea. We will see how gimbap Korean seaweed rice rolls and an omelette version of the dish are made. It's an omelette, so of course you must start with lots of eggs. All birds lay eggs, but not as often as chickens. If a hen meets a rooster and has a night of romance, the egg will be fertilized and a baby chick will be born. Now, the eggs have been put into a large metal bowl where they will be whipped. Once the yolks and whites are combined, they are strained to eliminate any pieces of shell. For the egg on the inside gimbap version, square ham sausage patty is grilled evenly and a creamy meat or fish will be added. My best guess is that it's tuna. However, shredded chicken or shrimp would work with the recipe too. A lot of mayonnaise is slathered on top, then a slightly smaller amount of other white stuff, which is tartar sauce, easily made by adding dill, horseradish or pickle radish, mustard and lemon juice to mayonnaise. Kimchi has a long history of being a staple in most Korean dishes. It is fermented Korean cabbage, or some say radish, and is teeming with probiotics thriving within. Kimchi is full of beta-carotene and other antioxidant compounds and does wonders for your digestive system. It can also reduce the risk of many chronic conditions such as cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. Some light oil is added to the mixture. This cucumber or any long vegetable slicing machine looks like a lot of fun to play with. I personally like my cucumbers sliced thin and long when adding to a roll or frying. This machine also removes most of the seeds. Here is a style of fried omelette egg that is thin, almost like a crepe, but not sweet or floury. These are only eggs and added to the salmon paste, which can be bought at any grocery store. Or made fresh and cod roe paste can also be used. This gets added to the center of the egg and rolled. The kimchi has been lightly cooked and the rice has some sesame oil, sugar, salt, and soy sauce added. Ah, another fun machine. This puts an even layer of rice on the nori so it is ready to have the stuffings added before it is rolled. The definition of sushi is anything that is wrapped in a seaweed, most notably nori roll. We will see in this Korean restaurant, they are wrapping everything they create in it. It is indeed sushi without raw fish. Each gimbap is made to order, some with crab, cheese, kimchi, tuna, or whatever the choices are on the menu. Once complete, it's rubbed with oil to prevent cracking of the nori and sliced evenly wrapped and sold. So now we see the skillet which is greased with canola oil. A layer of whipped eggs is applied to the skillet. It looks like a long thin omelette. To this layer that will wrap the gimbab already prepared for the egg outside omelette version. It seems like they are using a lot of egg to wrap these sushi rolls, but actually it's whipped up the equivalent of about 1.5 eggs. They put these rolled omelets on the side. There are a variety of these omelet rolls, some to be sliced, some to eat by hand, some with egg inside and some outside. They are frequently eaten for breakfast, put into student lunch boxes and eaten plain or with your favorite condiment. Try different combinations and invent your own. It's fun to make and fun to eat. Definitely a meal to be enjoyed. This is how you make the egg bomb, a very veggie filled and delicious omelette sandwich. We start with lots of eggs. We will be adding veggies and meat in equal amounts to these eggs to be cooked together on the grill. The first veggie is the finely chopped fresh green onions. Mmm. What I love about this kitchen is that nothing is automated. All the chopping, flipping, whisking and food preparation is carefully done by hand. Fresh raw grated carrots are sliced in. These are one of the best things you can put into your body. They are filled with carotene which is an antioxidant and lots of vitamin A for your vision. Whole fresh heads of cabbage are grated by hand into stringy long strands known as slaw in the United States. 
There is thinly sliced ham, but diced chicken or bacon will do as well. Crack many eggs and hand whisk them together. Now this is fun. You have to get some exercise in the kitchen and whisking is the best for your wrists and your shoulders. Grill the cleaned and detailed shrimp. I am so happy to see they removed all the non-edible parts from that shrimp. It saves a person from having to put a hand in their mouth to remove the tail, spinning it into a napkin, or digging with their fingers through their plate to remove it. All due respect to this chef. Add some lemon juice and spices to the sizzling crustaceans and saute them on the grill until pinkish. Save these for later. Add all the ingredients together in a big bowl. Add the eggs and mix it together by hand. The true flavor of butter. Yes, pure butter will make any meal better. Compared to cheaper oil or margarine, it makes all the difference. This one slides across the grill like a Zamboni smoothing an ice rink. Put the entire concoction together. Pour in the beaten eggs whipped to a smooth yellow consistency over the veggies and blend well. The chef will hand mix the combination as it is being added to the grill. Now the hot grill is getting ready. Butter has actually the same amount of calories and fat as margarine. Because of its small amount of trans fats, butter is actually better for your heart than margarine is, and it's natural. The only good thing about margarine is that it's cheaper. Butter is natural and does about the same to your heart rate and cholesterol levels as margarine does. The chef is hand patting the omelet and adding more egg as she goes. The veggies are cooking in the butter at the same time as the eggs. Now cut into even sized rectangles so they can be cooked on the other side. This chef is timing this perfectly so she knows exactly when to flip it so each side is golden brown. She reminds me of a mother watching over all her chicks. Except here the eggs turned into this awesome omelet instead. Remove and stack them so they fit into the storage tray for later use. Grease the sizzling grill once again with even more butter. Butter costs more than twice as much as margarine, but it's worth it. You only live once, so splash a little on. Don't go cheap with your grease and the spread for your bread. Now the toast is toasting on the grill until it too has the perfect golden brown color. The chef is caring for that bread, making sure that it is toasted right on each side. Brown some shrimp on the side of the grill, getting ready to add to the sandwich. Brown. Timing is of the essence now that the breakfast rush is coming in. Add some sugary salt to the bread and then the condiments of ketchup or a cheese sauce, whatever you prefer. Leave some bare so the customer can add their own choices of sauces and seasonings. Now we are ready for the very veggie egg omelet which is the perfect size if cut in half and added to the top of the toast. Cut it down the middle because now we are ready for the cheese. For those who do not want the cheesy omelet, just fold the sandwich in half and have it ready for the breakfast crowd. For those who like the cheesy omelet, if you can get fresh twisted mozzarella cheese, go for it. Here in Korea, the best they can do is melt some already processed cheese. But look at the consistency of it. It is so creamy after being microwaved and poured onto the sandwich. Add whipped cheese with some Thousand Island dressing or a mayonnaise-based sauce. Fold and get ready to serve. For those who like the seafood option, throw on a shrimp or two and add the condiments you like. The last order has some cheese and the shredded chicken on top. For spice, add a few slices of jalapeno peppers and sriracha sauce mixture. That looks so good. Top with sour cream and cheddar, and it is almost like a Mexican breakfast, Korean style. This is a restaurant that cares about its people. It has to suit their customers' needs and makes this sandwich exactly how they like. It didn't take too long because the main base, the omelet, and the toast was already prepped right before. It's kind of how Subway does it, but this is real, fresh food. Wow, that omelet sandwich looks so scrumptious. But remember, it's about 50% fresh vegetables added to a mix of eggs fried on real butter. So you can enjoy the delectable food without feeling guilty. 
This egg bomb costs $3.40 at the Dong Tang Market in Seoul, South Korea. We'd like to thank you for watching this video. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel to be notified about when our next video is posted. Bon appetit!